Hey everyone, I have a fun little project for today. My parents are big home brewers. They brew a lot of beer, and they just finished a new batch of what they are calling the Prop Wash Pale Ale. So I thought that I would make them something for it. And I decided that I wanted to make them a custom beer tap handle. You know, a handle that goes to the tap that connects to the keg. Uh, that little part that you pull down and dispense the sweet, sweet, delicious beer. So I wanted to make a custom one for them. So let's go through what I made. So you can see that we have SolidWorks open here. And what I want this handle to be is I want it to be giant, basically a giant propeller. So that's where I'm going to start. So if I go through here, you can see that my first little bits is a custom propeller blade. I just kind of drew the shape and then it's a sweep and gave it a nice rotation. Then the next part I designed was the central hub. So this is where you would connect it to the engine and that kind of stuff. Uh, after this stage, I just did a circular pattern to complete the propeller shape and then finally a cut in order to get rid of that. So this is the basic shape, although it doesn't look much like a tap handle. And this is pretty large. This is 14 inches, which is kind of on the large side for a uh, tap handle. But I think that it, the, uh, the height is what's going to give it its wow factor. So it's a pretty, pretty tall handle. Now next, I wanted to give a little bit more, I wanted to make it look a little bit more like a tap handle. You know, something found in kind of a bar as opposed to just a straight up propeller. So I gave it a little handle on the outside. And that kind of gives it a, a nice pop. And also something you can grab and pull down with. So in order to attach this to the actual tap, every tap has a standard threading. So we need to cut a hole um, on the bottom of here for that threading. However, I've always had problems with the strength of 3D printed threads. So what I decided on doing is cutting a hole and then putting a brass insert. You can get these inserts at Lowe's, Home Depot, you know, any kind of hardware store. It's a pretty standard insert. Um, and it's a 3 8 inch uh, 16 UNC thread and you can just insert it here. So that's what I did is I just cut a hole in the bottom uh, where I can screw in that insert afterwards. And you can see that after we printed this. And then finally what I'm going to do is this looks awesome, but it's a little bland. So I want to uh, put some text here that just says prop wash. So in this next step, I added some text. You can see that it's just a couple of uh, extrudes into it, say prop wash. It took a little bit of fiddling around in order to get um, this inset just the right dimension, but this should be uh, perfectly dimensioned so that when I print it, you can tell that there's text here, but I'm not going to have to worry about putting like overhang support or anything inside here. So this should print without a problem. However, this is 14 inches long, which is way too big for my, uh, my single print bed. So what I'm going to have to do next is split it apart. So I have a top and a bottom. And this will be printed in two separate parts and then joined together with some acetone after the fact. So that is my prop wash beer tap handle. Now that it's designed, all that's left to do is go print it. So here I have the two halves. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to glue them together so it'll look kind of like this. But first, before I glue them together, I have a hole in the bottom where I'm going to add this uh, 3 inch 16 UNC uh, threaded insert. This is the standard size for a beer tap, and so I just have a hole that's just the right size for this to thread into. So that's the first thing that I'm going to have to do is just insert this. So let's do it. So I'm worried that the insert is going to crack the layers a little bit. So I'm taking some acetone and I'm just going to brush the acetone on the inside of the hole and hopefully that will dissolve some of the ABS and allow the insert to uh, go in smoothly. It'll kind of make the interior a little gummy and allow the insert to make its own threads as I screw it in. Uh, so I'm just going to apply a lot of acetone and hopefully get that nice and dissolved. And once I have it uh, dissolved, I'm going to take the inserts and I'm going to start screwing in. And that'll allow the insert to make a nice thread and hopefully uh, give it a nice bond so I don't have to use any kind of epoxy or anything like that to keep it in place.
and there we go. We have a threaded insert at the bottom of the breeder tap, and hopefully that'll just let me screw it directly onto the tap with no problems. Sweet. So now that the thread is inserted, we have to attach the two halves of these. And since both of these are printed out of ABS, ABS dissolves in acetone, and I can use acetone to make a chemical weld between these two halves so that the two halves will be nice and strong. So what I'm just going to do is I have some acetone over here, and I'm just going to spread the acetone on both sides. Let's get it thoroughly acetoned up. Probably need a bigger brush for this, but this will work. Just make sure that there's good coverage on both of these. And what this does is the acetone will eat away and dissolve some of this ABS. And when both sides are dissolved, when the acetone evaporates away, it'll leave a nice strong weld nice plastic on plastic connection between these two halves. At least that's the plan. We'll see if I can get enough acetone on here to do that weld. Okay. I think that's enough. And then with this side, what I'm just going to do is switch this way and then put these two halves together. So hopefully, once the acetone dries and evaporates away, we'll have a nice strong connection between these two halves. So we're here at the Tiki Bar. And let's see if this beer tap handle fits like we expect it to. So we have the crop wash beer tap handle here. And if we take off the handle that is here right now, let's see if this will work. So we have the threaded inserts that we put in. And let's see if it fits. A little weird here. There we go. Man, this thing actually is pretty big. But it looks like the thread's going on no problem. But we need to adjust the bottom here. There we go. Look at that. We have a beer tap handle, 3D printed, and works like a charm. Look at that. And here's the handle. It's kind of hard to see on video, but we have the prop wash right into it. And it'll probably be good to put that in black or something like that, you know, put a marker or some kind of paint inside to kind of pop it out. But overall, the handle works perfectly and the threaded insert works great. So there we go, a custom beer tap handle, 3D printed and designed in SolidWorks. Thank you all for watching and uh, subscribe for some more random and awesome projects like this. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.